Hello gang and welcome back down to the farm. We are cracking on from last time. We have to actually do some fertilization today. I want to get uh, I want to get the fertilizer on the back of this and uh, get both of these fields done. So the field just outside here uh, and the other field that we planted last episode. I want to get those fertilized up uh, because that'll mean they're done then because next we have to spray the field out here with uh, herbicide uh, because it is full of weeds. Now at the moment the weeds are too small for us to spray. They do require a uh, hoe. We just have a look here. Requires a weeder basically. They're small so that's where we're up to but we are able to fertilize right now so we're going to go ahead and uh, crack on with the fertilization of this get it done pretty simply just like this now i'm going to do my best to get around and do this we are probably going to need a little bit more fertilizer to maybe finish off the next field but otherwise we shouldn't really have to then what we're going to do after we've done our field prep uh, we're going to go and slash the tree area that we cut down last time out, we're going to go and slash that uh, area with the with the mower, with the rod on, just to see what we're kind of left with. Now we're probably going to have to do some flattening and get uh, some excavating done in there to flatten out the land. Then we're going to have to uh, basically plow it up and uh, plant down some fresh, fresh grass for ourselves to get through. Uh, and then we can see, I guess, uh, where we can go from there. Now. I don't know if our cultivator is going to be able to do it. I don't know how well it would do it anyway. Because it is basically just a gravel tickler, I like to call it. It, just, it doesn't really cut deep at all. So we might have to, A, look at getting ourselves a plow. Or B, leasing one at the very least. Um, and then we're probably going to look at some contract work anyway. Alright, so are we... Let's just turn that off there. Where are we at in terms of uh, field growth uh, here? We are, by the way, always forget where we're at. We're here. Okay, so we've done one full solid lap. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on with getting this done now. Basically, uh, I think we can just see where I've been here. It is quite hard to see. But I'm going to crack on with this now and uh, get both of these fields done and then we can go over and slash the field. Alright, enough fertilizer for both. I apologize that in that little time lapse I kept having to switch between the actual camera um, and the actual map so I could just see that I'd pretty much fertilized it all. Which, like, if you look at this, I pretty much have. Ooh, did we just waste that on there because we only just planted this? Alright, well, we're going to leave this tractor here, actually. It's got to be done tomorrow. Damn it. Ah, okay. Well, I thought because we ploughed it, that was fine. But clearly, it wasn't. There goes a big combine up there. Yeah, okay. We're going to have to redo this field tomorrow. It is going to germinate with the tractor in the yard. We've only got 154 litres. It might just be enough to get through what we need to get through. But we're going to head back home and sleep now anyway. All right. So, we're here on the Massey. It is still uh, just getting a bit brighter. I just went up around the corner and grabbed myself a coffee. A coffee. I've also put the warm gear on. Put the warm gear on here. You can see how it's uh, it's six out at the moment. It was five out at 7 a.m. this morning. I put my jumper on. So it's a top of 13 today and a low of four. Uh, that's the temperatures and currently raining. Now this shouldn't affect us uh, putting fertilizer on the field. It, it won't affect us uh, at all. 
Uh, and I'll just make sure I'll do a run here and make sure that it's all tickety boo. And we'll just make sure here. I was just checking the cows and stuff earlier. Right, so that worked there. Brilliant. Right, let's do another pass. Looks like this field's been harvested in the meantime, which is brilliant. So we'll do one more pass here. Okay. Even the neighbor's yard might get a little bit of um, fertilizer, hey? Sprinkle some there. Sprinkle some around here. Get up nice in this corner. I'll just check that now. Little strip up here to do. And then we're good to go. All those weeds in there will be loving all that fertilizer. Whoa, it'll really... And the rain. And then when the sun hits out, it's going to be like... Mm, 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 thank you very much. Right, lights can go off. Uh, make sure we got our beacon on. Yeah, so we'll jump on. It looks like the sun's coming out now, so that's brilliant. I've gone past. I've gone too far past, have I? No, I don't. Here we go. We're right here. All right. Watch out, dear. We'll go and drop this... Uh, drop this spreader back home. It's probably no good, actually. If I didn't have a cover on it, all that rain's going to affect the uh, fertilizer and, it and clog up the actual holes. So I'll we'll have to get that cleaned out at some point. Put some fresh fertilizer in it before we, we do it next year. Otherwise, it's... Uh, yeah, you can see that fertilizer down in there. That will have all clumped up and uh, coagulated and caused a big, big hard mess. Uh, which is going to be not very good. Now, I wonder if we should put that on there. I don't know yet. I'll leave that open. Now, the other thing we probably need to look at then is what contract we're going to be able to do to make a quick buck if we do have to buy ourselves a combine so let's get down into the ride on and we'll whip down and just see if we can slash that field up and slash that area up and just see what we're kind of left with a little bit all right now the cows are all happy. They've still got plenty of bedding, plenty of food. It's not going to help their health get to 100% because they don't have the TMR. And I don't think hay and grass will get their health up. But what it is doing, it's starting to produce fertilizer. I mean manure and um, slurry. Okay. I want to slash all this through here if I can. This is kind of like where I wanted to come through with this field, like this whole corner section down here. So we'll just have to see how it plays out a little bit. Also, the grass is... Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that little bit too, thanks. Can I get rid of you? Slash it down. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's working well. Slash all this stuff through here for us, please. to get some quotes see if I can get this place uh, flattened backfilled and all that sort of stuff uh, what it's gonna cost me it is a significant size still I think it will add a fair bit of grass to what uh, what we have to do the grass is starting to grow back we have a look here it does need um, from some fertilizer I wonder if we should do that we should just do it Okay, you know what? I've decided that we are going to do it. We're going to sprinkle some fertilizer on that field. So it means we're going to have to go get some more fertilizer. I'm not going to plow that uh, in until we've got the uh, flattening done on it. I think it's a bit redundant if we did that. So we'll, we'll definitely get a quote in. I'm assuming it's going to cost a couple of thousand dollars to get that uh, um, excavated. Okay, brilliant. Right, so let's look at now. Um, 
yeah, I guess what we'll do is we'll... We'll give the John Deere a bit of a run, hey? And we'll take that out. And we'll get the fertilizer spreader again. And we'll actually have to buy some more fertilizer. And we'll do that field. Alright, that wasn't brilliant. But I think we got the desired result anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, it just didn't quite reach out to kind of jam it over the top, which wasn't great. Not great for my equipment, not great for their forklift, not great for anything really, but uh, I think we're done. Right, that bag should be light enough that I can kind of grab it. I'm just going to leave that bag, whatever's left in it, which is actually not much, just sitting in there. Yeah, that wasn't really great, but it is what it is. It's in there now. Very, very nice and quick. Let's just see. We'll check the scoreboard and see how how well I did here. I just want to get this last little bit here. I think I think we're good though. Let's have a look now. Come on, the results are in. We have where are we even? We're down this way. Wait, where's my field? <laughs> Half the trouble with a new map is getting to know your field. Ah, we're down here. Hey, not too bad. Only that little spot and that little spot. You know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> we get out and look at our grass now. Fertilized 100% brilliantly. Now, the only thing we didn't do is roll it. Uh, I'm not going to bother rolling it. At least we're going to get a decent yield out of it. It's had a cut. It's had a fertilize. So we'll wait till both layers of grass are at the same height. No point cutting different layers. What we will look at doing is probably... I might look at leasing a um, a baler. Yeah, that'll do. A baler, a wrapper though, so we can wrap the bales. Uh, because we have a baler, we don't have the ability to wrap bales. All right, I'm going to put this down in the shed here now, and uh, we'll, we'll check out what contracts we've got on that we can sort of get going. Because pretty much uh, what we've done on our farm is what we've done up to date. And now what I mean is animals are pretty much done. Fields are done. We can't do any sort of maintenance or management or upgrades to our f anything else we've got because we don't have the money. So now we have to try and go and make money by sourcing out some contract work and see what we can actually get for ourselves. The good thing is I might be able to get Gary and Rachel to help me out. Okay, so the premise will be for us to find contract work enough so we can pay the wages of Gary and Rachel and enough so we can still make a bit of profit out of it. All right, let's go to contracts now and just see what's around town. So we do have some bailing jobs, which is great because I think I'm going to take a bailing job on for myself. We might even get Gary and Rachel to help us if the field's easy enough to work on. Uh, I do want one where we're silage wrapping. Uh, and not so much hay. I don't want really hay bales. And I want a good price for one here. That looks like a hay one. That looks like hay. This looks like a contract. Build 154. Bale it, then wrap it. Now, they're using the quick baler as well, which is actually really good. So, we'll probably go ahead and take that one. What's this one? That's a tether one. So, I'm going to borrow the items for that one. Now, are there any cultivating jobs here or anything? Because the fertilizing one, this fertilizing one would be actually brilliant. We will take that one and I won't borrow this stuff. We'll actually use it because what we can do is we can fertilize it with liquid, sl solid, slurry or manure. And so we just picked up a heap and we've got a heap. So what we'll do is we'll get Gary and Rachel to help us with that. All right, and then that's a good couple of thousand. We've also got some harvesting jobs here and a weeding job. The weeding job I'm not going to do. Uh, where's that? That cultivating's worth 2,000. I'll take that one. Okay. Now, it's, it's finding in my way to this place is going to be very, very interesting. I haven't really gone for much of a drive through town. 
Uh, but I assume it's kind of up on that hill a little bit. Let's just check our map. We'll pull over here to the side of the road and check our map. So if we are leaving town here, we need to keep going straight through town. Take a left all the way through here into the dirt road. So basically at our old field, take a left and we'll work our way up into that field. All right, that's not so hard. I have gone too far. We were supposed to take a uh, uh, left back there. So, whoop. Roll down to the road. So it should be lefty, lefty Lucy, tidy righty up here. Uh, and then it should be this field on the left. Look at this pretty area. Right, now if we look at it, it's definitely this field here. Right. So it may, might pay here to get a bit of a headland done and then I could set the uh, set Gary or Rachel off to, to come and finish this up. I'm hoping that's sort of close enough there. So if I just sort of do a bit of a headland and then I'll set these guys off to uh, continue on and then we can go and get cracking on the mowing. The mowing is going to be a uh, big job, especially if I have a mower that's not, it doesn't have swath dropping. So I love using a mower that has swath dropping. However, I think the game has been cheeky and it's actually allowed us to use the quick bailer. Now, if you don't know about the quick bailer, there's two versions. There's the quick bailer and then there's the quick, quick bailer. <laughs> the quick bailer just it just feeds bales out the back end like no tomorrow the quick quick baler does it twice as fast <laughs> so uh i think the game's been a bit cheeky and given us one of those so it should make the bailing uh, and wrapping much quicker right Let's see what this does now yeah if i just do that no you're gonna have to be like this i think you're gonna go that way that way. No, you're going to go that way. All right. So with Gary off and running, we now have... Oh, it hasn't given us the quick bailer. Oh, oh it is a quick bailer. No, it is a quick bail. Oh, brilliant. It's just in John Deere colors. Oh, everything's John Deere today, isn't it? Okay, it's given us a lot of this stuff, actually. Is that is that the front mower? No, it's a rear mower. I think that's a rear mower. Why hasn't it given us a front mower section? Okay, I'm going to put this over here. Okay, contract on field. Old mate's finished. All right, brilliant. Okay, so we have collected the money for that and Gary has finished his work. So that's good. We, we didn't have to pay much in wages. Now I can go pick this weight up. Which I ideally should have just done at the start, but whatever. Now we have to be... Um, so we are here. Right, we have to head to here. Crikey. So we've basically got to come up come out turn left drive all the way up here take a left again at the bridge at so well it's not a bridge it's a bridge here basically it's the first major road left drive up here pretty much follow that all the way oh this is going to be difficult okay let's just crack on and see how we go i'm gonna have to come around again <laughs>
No. Okay. So good news, we're mowing. Bad news, I can't see any swath drop on this thing. Therefore, no swath drop. And you know the other thing? I think I'm going to switch the tool around and put it on the front. I know you're probably not meant to, but uh, we are. I just find mowing from the front a little bit easier because I'm directing where I want to actually go. It is leaving like a couple of big swaths though. However, I'm hoping it's going to be enough for our baler to pick it up. And I think knowing the quick baler, it should be. All right, so. We'll do a basically a perimeter again just to get ourselves sort of aligned. And then we can come back and uh, bail up all this sort of stuff. So. Yeah, this is going to be much better for driving around like this. What I'll do is I'll come up to like there. Yeah, you got to be careful when you mow right to edges because when you do contract, sometimes you don't always uh, get the full yield when you mow right to the edge because it's going over the borders. So we'll kind of just go to like here because I don't want to make the job too hard for picking up. We do want to get as much as we can because at the end of mowing contracts, whatever's left over, you actually get back for yourself. So, I think we're pretty good to go. Does that go actually, does it go around those trees? If so, what we'll do is we'll swing this way. And we'll tuck up in here. We're just going to have to do the best we can. Brilliant. So we'll just go back this way as well. It's strange that they didn't give me a uh, wind rower with this mower. Nevertheless. So I was going to um, put a proper big uh, time lapse in here, but I actually had to stop in between um, in between the baling and um, the mowing purely because I uh, I had net wrap still in my uh, mods list, and I don't always like using uh, net wrap. It means you have to have net wrap. Uh, you have to buy it and you have to add it to the balers and I just didn't want to have to do that for this series So I I've forgotten that I still had it in here So I just had to go out and take it out, but you can see the working width of these quick balers uh, These quick balers are no joke now. Here's the trouble. I Do have this thing set To 180 size bales. I'm pretty sure 180 which we should be able to pick up but boy oh boy It's sucking up a lot of grass to get that are we sure that's right? That's a lot of liters in one bale. <laughs> we're going to be basically taking one bale here if we're going to even get that. Holy moly. I hope we've got enough to at least get one bale. Is that 50,000 liters? 
Is that... Are we literally just going to do one bail here? I'm literally just going to keep driving around till we get it because I don't think we're going to... We're going to have enough for multiple bales here at this rate. Uh, yeah, there it is there. So, wait, hang on. There's one bale there. And then let's go... Let's change the size down to 125s. Uh... Okay, let's see how that goes. I still think it might be too late because it's got to wait till the next bale, but... <laughs> one bale, so basically... <laughs> we're going to have to pick up one bale and take it to the shop. That one bale, I think, normally would accrue to many bales. So just be aware of that. It might look funny right now, but that's what you get when you use, when you use like, modded, modded balers and stuff. I have the modded bale. I have this bale in my mods because I use, we use this on the members server uh, when we play with the members uh, because it's just handy because people have big fields and that. They don't have a lot of time when they need to drop into the server and do what they got to do. So we all kind of use it because it just gets the job, as you can see, done nice and quick. And what it also does is, is for multiplayer, and I'll be I'll be very honest here, you might think it's a bit of a, it's too much to use, but it's a great mod because when you do multiplayer servers and you have up to eight people on the server, products that build up on your server, so silage bales that you've got out holding, actually occupy space. So when other people are trying to do bailing and you've got 30, 40 bales sitting on the deck and someone else wants to get 30 or 40 bales, all of a sudden, there's 60 to um, 90, 80, whatever bales that people are used. That takes up the whole production space on, well, not production. It takes up the whole spawn space, pallet spawn space on a map. So people can't actually, no one else can do the work. So reducing the amount of bales you have on a server is really, really handy. It's a handy thing to have. We're not going to get all this grass, by the way. That's kind of a waste. I don't think we can even uh, pop that out. If I go B, B, no, we can't get that out of there. So literally, this one bale of silage here, which is actually 50,000 litres of of silage, so it's probably more than what you'd expect out of this field. The sad thing is we've got a heap in there, and I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, the only thing we can do now is go back and get this bale and sell it off just to see where we got to go. Now, where are we actually selling this bale to? It should be flashing on our map where we have to sell it to. Ah, oh, it's hidden in amongst here. Right. So there's the animal dealer there. That, that's where we're going to take the bale. Okay. What I'm going to go and do is um, grab that trailer, which seems redundant for one. Uh, I'll come back here, I'll pick up the bale, and then I'll meet you when we're on our way to sell the bale off. So here's the worrying thought that I've got. I'm worried that because we weren't able to extract the other 24,000 litres of grass into the silage, we might end up forfeiting this contract because we won't have enough silage. Now, I'm hoping that's not the case. But what it is, it is definitely putting an impact on the money that we're going to be able to earn... Uh, for the extra silage that would have been sold, which kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. It really does. All this for... I know it's it looks like one bale, but for, for 50,000 litres, when it probably should have been 74,000 odd litres of silage, 74,000 odd litres of silage is much, much more than only 50. So I'm hoping that if, if at anything, we can still at least get the contract finished if we can't get the contract finished it means we will have lost a 50,000 litre bale and we will have lost the contract the joys of having a business people the joys of having a business even if it's a pixel business and that is that now I am wishful thinking here and we go this way. I, yeah we definitely come this way i get confused with all these back roads you know right now can we get a back road out of here we've got to head down to so if we have a look here we could take this road all the way down into town there so we can go left here and take this run all the way to the animal dealers so we will do that right now
I'm actually really enjoying living on this map for a while. It's really, really pretty. You can see it. Look at the beautiful mountains in the background. All the beautiful fields. It's a lovely. It's got like it's got like multiple little town sections to go to. We obviously live on the other side of town. It's a very skinny bridge, by the way. It's scaring me. <laughs> ah, is that where that combine lives out this way? Give way. Give way to me, that is. <laughs> Alright, this seems very tight for bringing in this whole trailer. Okay, I don't know if we can actually get around here. If we do, this will be excellent driving. And then we're going to have to back this up. So we're going to, have to we can get out this way, so that's actually okay. I'm going to back this up. Hey, it looks like there's just enough backing room to go in here. All right, now we've got to offload. This is the moment of truth, gang. This is the bit I'm really, really, really nervous about. Hey, look, there's the rural uh, fighting area there too. What's that? That's firewood delivery just there. Okay, it's complete. And we, okay. And we just made 1,725 extra on top. Now, think about that. We just lost out on 24,000 liters of silage because of that quick bail. So while the quick bail was really good to getting the job done quickly, we also lost out massively. Let's go ahead and hand our contract in now. Okay, so contracts completed. The, uh, the dealership has come and picked their stuff up. You know what? All in all, we still, for a quick job, that was a really quick job. We still made, uh, we came out with 13,919 in the bank. I will look to do some more. Actually, it's quite not a bad idea to have a little walk around this town and just check out a few things. I will still look to do more contracts. We're going to have to do more contracts as we follow through because the next thing we want to buy is more fields. Uh, ooh. Here's the, uh, oh, here's the firefighters. Hey, guys. We might be able to join the rural uh, fire brigading uh, team at some point down the track. I did inquiry, uh, inquire about that, and we do have to actually provide our own vehicle that needs to be fully inspected. Um, hey, there's, this, there's, a, there's a big gas station just there. I didn't know that. I want to look in this building here. It looks quite unique. Yeah, so down the track, if we happen to be able to purchase our own uh, firefighting vehicle, then it passes all of the inspections, the safety inspections and so forth. We should be able to... Can I get in this building? We should be able to uh, basically uh, join the fire for a rural fire brigade, fire brigade. What's this? I just found a collectible. It's in the shape of a pretzel. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got an extra thousand bucks. So anyway, I'm not going to be looking around. We're not going to be going around looking for pretzels. We're not going out of our way anyway. If I happen to stumble across one like that, then yeah, sure, I'll pick it up for a thousand pounds. I want to buy the field next door to us. So I want to be able to buy this field up here. Uh, where's our field? This field 135. So if we have a look at that, the field itself is worth 53,000. Thousand, but what it's going to give us is a massive grass area. There's also this one here for 57. So we've got a long way to go if we want to buy that. There are other fields around here that we could probably purchase. This one across the road from us is only 38. So on and so forth. You get it, right? These fields here would be really handy to snap up around our place much sooner rather than later. Whoa, they're expensive. Everything's expensive. All the prices of things are going up through the roof at the moment. All right, so that's it for your lot today. Thanks for hanging out. Stay safe, stay glued. And until next time, get out of here. Is that my egg van again? That looks like my egg van. <laughs>